All right, KJ, is everything okay? Reggie sounded like a little bit panicked today. I'm not gonna lie. Is everything, everything okay is with okay. Um, Yeah. The last thing I had a little conversation with OTT. He was uh, he seems like not happy with the, how I organize things, and he wants to switch it up. I told him to talk to you guys and tell me what you want. Wait, what does OTT? Huh? I'm t what happened? Uh, apparently it's according to the money we're dragging in and how i'm using the money where the money is going and he want that money for slice crew to get a house so they can clean more whatever i don't know apparently you guys are paying for the house and everything okay so what happened well what happened we had a little discussion i said you know like if he needs money he needs to speak up about it or whatever it's the second or third time ott comes to me with whatever slides and their group are doing and he wants me to change up or help or whatever i said we're one company of course you know we can help out but i need oh, to pay yeah, of course i, I need to I pay people about, yeah. who have been using their own money you know into the farm as well that was the agreement i had with you guys and Okay. If you guys feel like I'm wasting too much money or where the money goes, I have everything written down. So you can all check it if you want to. But apparently, I, okay. he need that money for that shit. And then he said I should pay my growers in rolls. I said, if that's the case, you guys can fucking take it over. I can start pushing and you guys can run the shit. <sighs> then I said, uh, you have a nice day. And I walked away. Yeah. Don't you think that's a little bit of a rough reaction, KJ? Come on. I don't know. Like, if you want to tell me how i should run my shit or whatever like i'm i'm fine with that but then you take it over and uh, and i just start pushing this is that kj kj One. please what come on that's a bit of a rough reaction come on now i, no, I agree I here I'm, I'm not gonna lie i mean i do understand that when when you've been doing something for so long it's someone who's supposed to be your boss comes out of nowhere and tells you how to run what you've been doing this whole time i do understand it it, it pricks a little bit right but He's only he's he's only meaning the best probably by it. You know, I don't probably I don't know I'm hundred percent with you, but and and he said, you know, he, he didn't come from a position where he's like telling me I need to do something, but I, I'm telling you right away, like if I need to start to pay my growers in rolls, they will stop growing. It's the reason why I have the system I have to make it easy because we did that in the beginning and it, it became a shit show. So I'm all fine and Danny with whatever you guys want me to do. Like, I work for you guys, you know, uh, in the end of it. And I work for him as well. I understand that. But I'm, I'm looking out for the people I'm working with as well, you know. I'm in between. You guys are my bosses, but I have people, you know, who works for us or me. Yeah, but, but KJ, you know that, like, putting down, that's pretty much putting an ultimatum. And then you're going to fuck his head up. And you already know that the whole board has an enormous amount of respect for you. And then that's pretty much like saying, oh, fuck you. I ain't doing that shit if you got to do it that way. And then you know that's going to make people uncomfortable with giving you a fucking order. And then it's going to be left on me to just tell you what to do. And then if I get pissed off and then you get pissed off, then no, nothing gets done. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Can you take it easy on that shit? Because listen. He's just trying to make some moves where we end up making money, okay? And he's just frust he's probably frustrated okay. because we have moving parts that are not contributing towards each other. And it's just not, it's not pharma alone. It's the same shit with fucking cleaning, same shit with moonshine. People don't understand that we need to be supporting each other because frankly, it has all started with everybody trying to one up each other and see who can run the best department. No, 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 no. I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I, I know that we are generating more money because of the field we're in. I understand that mm -hmm. our money needs to be used for what, you know, utilize the best for the company. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm not stupid, you know? I understand. Yeah. But, um, Jane, now are, are, are he, is he with the company now? Can I speak freely here or? No, you can't, it's fine, it's fine. Right. Jane is part of Black Ops now, so he'll listen to like, some of this random shit that we do. Yeah. I have no, I have understanding if you come to me and talk to me, Benji, you Ray as well, Mickey or OTT. Like I have no issues at all. You guys are my boss. End of story. At the same time, I will say and do what I'm doing. Maybe I'm a little bit harsh sometimes, but I will still do it, you know? And if you guys tell me to do something, I don't agree with it. I'm like, I gotta be honest with you. 
then find somebody who can run it better the way that I'm running it, you know? If you guys want to switch up my operation and how I do shit. Uh, if I'm s stepping on toes or doing too much or you're wasting the money you feel like on something, tell me. Uh, but I was under the impression and the agreement with you guys where we paid off people and everything belongs to the company in the end of it. If we are short of money on some parts and we need the money we're generating, I can hold off to pay people back. I agree with that. And we use, utilize the money where we should do it. But there's one more thing here that I want to... I didn't say to OTT, but I, I will probably want the meeting with you all. Because from a PM to another PM, if another PM needs something from me, I hope the PM can be open enough and have the balls enough to come to me and say, Hey, we're one, you know, we're one company. I need something from you. Can you help me? Now we'll do it. Um, but if I'm gonna talk to you, Benji, and let you go and do all my fucking work to all the other fucking entities, I think they wouldn't like it as well because you're speaking on my behalf. That's what I feel right now, and I don't know if I'm, uh, you know, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Maybe like everybody, everybody does everything from the best interest, but yeah. That's what Wait, I'm feeling right now. May I ask KG, what, what did happen? Well, I feel like I'm missing some context. So he came to you and said he wanted you to start paying all your workers and roll bills? Uh, no. The, the conversation started a couple of days before where we agreed on getting Sly and his crew to clean the money. They cleaned approximately $100,000 of our money in rolls. rest of the money okay. we have cleaned ourselves because we invested in some machines and got the people to use the money for it. He came right. and said that the 10% they, they made the deal with is too low. I agree with him. He wanted to have cheaper prices on the, on the weed on the street, basically, to push. I said, I think that's a bad idea, you know? Like, they can upcharge, you know, the prices on what they're cleaning instead. Because I was waiting for that, you know, to 20, like, this street price. He agreed. Do you know why he wanted the cheaper prices of weed? Uh, because he, the runners who are running the cleaning operation are not making any money, basically, of 10%. And I kind of like, that's agreement. But he thought, like, going around They're that was making, better to... not making money off cleaning 10%? Okay, okay. 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 So, if I give them $100,000 in rolls, they need to okay. clean the rolls, you know, wash them, and then Which, go and do the business. The money, right? Yeah, okay. that's ten thousand dollars. You need a six-man right. crew to run it, so it's dog shit payment, you know, for the crew. I hundred percent agree with that. If you're gonna pay six people of ten, like ten percent is ten thousand dollars. If you're gonna pay ten people for it, like you're doing all this risky for like a thousand dollars, nobody wants to do that, you know. Okay, I mean, uh, yeah, I I understand your perspective, but. He's the one that's helping Sly, who's running the cleaning business, and you're saying that they they don't feel like they. I mean, I feel like they've just been a little bit overworked. Didn't they just clean two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the company? Uh, yeah, and probably. We didn't pay them. We didn't. We didn't pay them a single dollar for that. So I mean, I feel like you got to think. You got to consider that, right? No, yeah, maybe I know you guys is. don't pay anything, but we pay. You know, for our stuff. If that makes sense. Right. Right. But the reason that we didn't pay is because OTT promised them a. Is, is there something I'm supposed to say here? Would, is Jaden okay to hear this? Jaden, can you just step away for a second, Jaden? Yeah, yeah of course. Sorry, you. Okay, Thank this you. This is kind of important. I didn't want to say this in front of... It, OTT promised them a literal other home where they can set up an entire other washing operation for yep. the company. That's why he's cleaning <clears throat> the money right now because that money is going to go directly into the home. You, you know about this, Benji, right? We talked about this. Yeah, but I don't know about so, this. Um, and then okay. to get that other so home, you, you, they need our money, what we they, are generating, you know? Why did they tell you about that? This is the thing. I don't understand. There's some miscommunication Why here. the fuck is there problems between us? Like, this is so simple. It just, what the it fuck just is like, lie, man? No, it just seems like there's a little bit of miscommunication. Because this is something that I was told. This is something I was told, guys, on Thursday, before I left. I was told this by Sly and OTT. So okay. they told me that, that they cleaned everything at 0% because all the money was going to go back into their home. So okay. it's me, Ray, and KJ here. Let's, can we clear it up real quick? So their boys probably felt a little bit, you know, I don't know, overworked because oh, they no, made 100%. I, I completely agree, but... This is, why, this is why I told them we should be paying... Bro, I even told OZT this. We should be paying our people 
for the work they do. You don't Even know if it's yeah, a bigger goal in the future, you know? Bamba club. Okay, bye-bye. No, no, no. But I agree with that. And that's why I told as well when he OTT asked me to get cheaper prices on the baggies. And I said, instead of that, bring it up to the street value, you know? $20,000 for rolls, $15,000 for watch cash, you know? That is the street right. price right now. We, this Tell is the boys we, to do we it. We can give it to our Benji. own boys. Benji, yeah. listen. They cleaned $250,000 for the company, all of our money, at 0%. Listen, at the end of the day, I understand it's great. It, it, for us, it's fantastic. But those boys are going to get burned out if they're making zero money and only mm -hmm. being promised things like homes and stuff like that when the home is not coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, Listen, but from my can, end, Can I clear something up, KJ? One second, yeah. one second. So, yeah. KJ, you're not angry at people needing money. No. You're angry no. that people try to change your system to get the money, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, that's simple. I understand everything I generate is not my money. It's your money. It's company money. Yeah. If the company okay. needs the money, I give whatever money it is. The only problem I have with the whole shit is like, I owe people. People use $50,000 of their own saving to pay for shit and I repay them back when we generate the money in, you know? Um, mm -hmm. There's a whole thing here, but I feel like, like this is a small issue. Like, it... it it's a vacuum in a glass, you know what I mean? Like, there is no issue, but we just need to get everything on the table, clear it up, and move on, you know? Um, mm -hmm. The meeting got heated because it was, in the end, he said something in the line of, we should get all the clean money, give it to the company, and the growers should get paid in rolls. And then I basically, yeah, put my foot down and said, that will not happen, you know, when I'm working here. If that's going to change, uh, somebody else take over, I just start pushing. Okay. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too heated from me as well, uh, but yeah, that's what I said. But and I think it's like he's stressed to make sure they get the house so they can start up the cleaning operation. I'm down to help them out if they need money. Because the money I'm generating is your money. You see, yeah. you see where I'm so, coming from? Sly, you know, I know, I know, I know. Sly is on the way down here right now. And then we're just going to clarify what every project manager is handling. And then mm -hmm. me and Ray, since we're two of us right now, bored, we're just going to confirm if this is on the right path, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. Well, Gucci then. Can you join Jaden for a second, KJ, please? I need to speak to talk to Ray. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got food? Hello. Yeah, I got some. I, I mean, I got, I got some... Uh... You got some bars, you fine with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need something to drink and something to eat. What up, KJ? Yo, we good, Sly. Hello. What's up, man? Who it is? Uh, I'm Jaden. Nice to meet you. Oh, what up, Jaden? <laughs> Ganjaman Sly, they call me Bondi Streets. Ganjaman. Ganjaman, okay, okay. you say. Oh, nice meeting you, Ganjaman. <laughs> <laughs> Just sly, bro. It's all good. How you been? I've, uh, I've been good, bro. Just trying to hold shit down while all this sh stupid fiasco is going on, you know? Yeah. Right now, I'm tailing Maxine while he do G6. Waiting for boys to wake up. All right. I just woke up um, myself. I heard. What happened? Yesterday, we cleaned 300k total. Holy fuck. You guys got yeah, your we, house yet? We or... No. Hours and hours. Nope. Um, so basically, we turned our house into the cleaning house. As of right now, anyway. Yeah. We probably have a house on Fudge, the house we live in. We evicted a lot of people from the house. We kind of, like, don't need it. So what you proposing? I can move shit there? Yeah. Probably in the future, I need to. I spoke to Reggie about it. I spoke to Jane about it as we well. We need to talk to Dom, right? Yeah, we need to talk to Dom. She's the one who kind of like are on the paper. But yeah, I know. Me and OTT had um had a little talk basically and a little disagreement and um, yeah, but apparently a disagreement. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say disagree. It, it became an argument, a little bit heated and um. I think we both want what's best for everything, but at the same time, we're on different foots, basically. What the fuck is he doing? Sorry, the, the area's a little bit shit, but we're just in case, you know, 
our manners around. We're gonna search for them in in Polito and shit. They got a grow house up here. The grow house in the in the potential have another grow house slide. It is by aunties and forum. Okay. Oh, that's easy to sneak out. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. It's just going to church. You can see all the houses there. Okay. So, what's going on with uh, cleaning right now, Sly? How? What's the what's the issue? Any issues? Any problems? How does it all work? What uh, are the percentages? First off, there's no issues. Um, obviously, some things just changed. We're already on top of that. We're cleaning over a hundred something is spicy. a day. Yeah. Um, recently, what we did was we took all of companies' money, and we put that in front as prioritization. That was around almost three hundred k. Yesterday, we cleaned all of that. Um, I gave you earlier like 225 or some shit like that. And I have to give OTT yeah. 88. Um, we're buying everybody's rolls and stuff again. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of pricing, 20% for the rolls and 15% for the wash cash. 20,000 for rolls, 15% for wash cash is how much all of us pay you? As in personally, yes. Personally. What about if it's like company heist money? Um, I think we could come up with something with that. But yeah, it, it all depends, right? Because if the company is hoarding a shit ton of money and then they give it to me in one shot, that puts everybody, um, like the whole entire thing on hold because it's going to be like 100, 200K and then, just, you know. Okay, okay. I need, I need to know how does the other than cleaning the money for us right how do you generate money for us as in like new money you know what i'm saying do we does the company itself get a cut from your current uh, setup well as of right oh. now no because my setup itself is from me and me only or my boys i should say it's not like the company okay. put in anything towards that if the company okay. is providing some shit like that then obviously we could do that but I feel like Sly, that should happen, right? But my only problem is that you would need to be in a completely new house where you move all the stuff in, right? That is was that the plan. Yeah. So is that still the plan right now? Well, um, I spoke to OTT and he was saying that as of right now, after the change and the amount of money that could be clean within a day, let's see how things go for a little bit and see if it can keep up and let's say we can't keep up then we're gonna get the house as in a company um cleaning house and we go from there but for right now we're just using my house as the main cleaning house yeah, he was basically he, saying he, that he wants to dedicate money towards like the butt coin stuff for now and then that, that money will be going back to a home like that's where we have Two hundred fifty thousand dollars just sitting there that we want to put towards a home that we can get the washing machines and stuff so we can get the cleaning operation going faster so that we can help both i mean everyone's operations kj's operations your operations our operations everything you know and that money well, is right. going to go to that but keep in mind when the money was given to us none of this change was already here so we were cleaning this stuff slower than the way it is now and the idea was for us to invest this money into a house so we were doing it in a way of, you know, this is our contribution towards that house. You guys were so kind of we like doing it how we were doing any it? money in terms of like or anything out of that money that we were oh, cleaning. Stop, man. So loud. That was like yeah. our contribution towards this house. We're cleaning this stuff. As long as it was going to the house, we were OK with that. So what is that happening right now still or no? Well, because of the change, I don't think it's happening right, right, right now. What, we what might put a are we pause about? on it. What's well, the we might not need the house right now. Like right now, I can buy more washing machines and put it in my house. My house Wait, is not why? even tapped out yet. Wait, why? What happened? Did I miss something? I was gone this entire week. I assume I don't know anything. What happened? Okay, so basically there's baskets now and the, the whole basket? cleaning stuff. Um, you, you basically load the basket and you don't even touch the washing machines no more. You just need a shit ton in your house. That's it. What? Pretty you much, don't have yeah. to keep cycling them over and over and over with no, more cash. No, I just go straight to my basket, put money in the basket. Um, I come back oh later. I'm I'm getting like five k an hour, twenty four hours, like does over a hundred something thousand. Does that require thousand. electricity and wiring by chance? It's a it basket. does. Oh, it's just a well, the oh, basket like... doesn't. The washing machines does. Okay, oh, shit. Yeah, so it's go. kind of like an 
It's like an auto loader. Code loader. Yes. Auto loaders. Okay. So basically, uh, yeah. it's is like Minecraft. Is anyone know when furnaces are? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, pardon me. Yeah, uh, we right, need so, uh, something up north with the farm. Far, yeah, the farmer house need furniture soon. Would you? Okay. So, Who are these how, guys? guys, how do we? You guys have someone me. rotting around in a box somewhere. Could you guys check that while we while we do this? Okay. Benji, so, do you think we can make gunpowder soon? Yes. I guys, I really want us to be on board here because honestly, Perez should be here too. The objective is everything. Okay, now okay. I, I don't know what the solution is here, Sly. Okay, and KJ, I'm just saying it out loud so that we become a system that depends on each other and there's a use for all of us instead of a. Oh my God, I'm glad I have Sly just to clean a little bit of money. Instead, I want it to be like, no, Sly is a fucking important part of the company that generates us income too and not just helps us clean, right? Because I think that that's more meaningful, no? Right. Yeah. Okay, so, so we need to have everything under the ownership. Everything needs to be under the ownership of the company, okay? Other than that, there needs to be a cut that comes to the company. Okay. Other, and, and our services at some point, just like weed, should be offered to the outside world too, which where each division can make money as well. All right. Does that, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So for example, in terms of pharma, company gets a cut from every single brick that is sold. Simple as that. Yeah. Right. So what, what what about for cleaning? How do we how do we reach that point? Like how much money do we need to generate and give before we can say okay, every single cut that you know the comp that the company cleans, that we make some money off it too. Well, the best way to oh, do that would be to get the house. Says, yeah. We get the house, and then we basically get washing machines that are company dedicated to you know. So like it, it's the companies and not mine. Yo, I maybe have a solution for a house. Okay. Our house down at Fudge, we're not utilizing. Really? At all? No. Now we're moving here. Now we're That's... thinking hard. I like Because that. I gotta be honest with you, when I had this talk with uh, OTT and when this changes happen with the HQs and we cannot be on different HQs, we have no use for that house to generate Bitcoin or anything. So that house huh. will kind of just stay there. Uh, I understand that they need a house and uh, we can utilize that house for that operation so we can help out each other, you know? Wait, that's that's actually huge. And then you guys will be able to share keys and shit like that. Why the hell do we... Why do we not even think about that? Uh, we thought about uh, that after new, all these changes happen, you know? Like, the problem is, like, every day oh, is a new yeah. day and a it's new thing that happens, new, you know what I mean? So, yeah, when shit switches up, yeah. you know, you just gotta Wait, try and what adjust. Do you, what do you guys and... talking about with the HQ? What do you mean different HQs? So, you cannot be on different HQ apps, basically. You can only choose one. Oh, yeah, one. there's no more what? double dipping anymore. No more double, no more double dipping. dipping anymore, yeah. What? Yeah. Why would you so not you tell me that's a huge thing, Benji? Yeah, well, you're gonna be on Zaza anyway, so it doesn't matter. So basically when you're on Zaza and you need to get into a new chip, you need to, you have a week cooldown before you can join another one. So the thing of having different HQs and do different heists with different crews are no longer, you know, acquired. You kind of like need to find your place and, and stay there. What so if they have extra chips and they just give you chip. No, it doesn't work that way. You're still no, going to be on Zaza. You know, yeah. It's connected the to your state ID. specifically clipped to your yeah. ID. It's now bio bionic, biological. Yeah. It's bio chip. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically like the DNA the chip, chips? basically. Bro, half the Zaza chips are really in my DNA. Wait, what if what if they were in my like my state ID before? You Doesn't know, matter. Right. It'll go you're, reset. It'll go you're, reset. You're all cleaned out. You're no longer. Yeah. yeah, like right now, currently, I am on no, no um HQ. Yeah, okay. I'm only on Anita, so that gives okay. us no reason to keep that house per se in what we're doing. So since they since OTT told me that you know like. The money we are generating to the pharma should go to the company so the company can buy a house for the cleaning operation. We already have a house. You see what I mean? That we don't okay. utilize. But I need okay. to talk to I one person is, first before huge. I can who, say, you know, it's a go. Who's the person you need to talk to? I need to talk to Dom. She's the one who who stands as the owner for the house. Dom? Like uh Dominique. Dominique. That sounds very familiar, yeah. the name. 
The one who is that dating you know, you know um, Ivan, you know? Ivan's wife. Huh, okay. All right, you're saying Benji? I think no matter what, okay, I think this is the only problem, KJ, okay? And I think this is just to keep in mind, and I, I you know, Ray, if you agree with me here. The money that's meant to go to the company, I think even when, let's say, for example, how much, what, what was the amount, KJ, per brick? Per brick? Yeah. Because uh, I know you had the calculations down, right? Yeah, the like we have, we, it's basically six dollars per bag that goes to the company. Okay. So, so, so every bag that they sell, guys, right? Brick it goes to six dollars to the company. There you go. So, so you get twenty-eight dollars. It's one hundred sixty-eight dollars per brick, basically. Okay. So from every every little sale day, something comes to the company, right? And yeah. at this point, you were using all that money. To pay off everything for the, the people that are owed, correct? Yeah. Uh, right now, we only owe. Um, I only owe Fred money for five big racks and the investment he did to get the growing pot. That was thirty k plus five big racks, around fifty k. I paid off everybody. Okay. We have basically spend around three four hundred thousand dollars to pay back everything and now the pharmaceuticals aka you guys the company owns like we have 20 we have 40 big racks that you guys own okay. it's in the pharmaceuticals so name say us kj we we listen listen okay i think this is the only thing if you can do it for us okay in fact just do it anyway mm-hmm I think the only problem starts stemming out when people do not see uh, money coming in. Yeah. So instead of like the whole six dollars going yeah. to whatever cause, let's make it like three three. You know what I mean? So three dollars goes to whatever we need to pay off, and then let's just keep that stream of three dollars coming into the company directly just to the company. For just for posterity, you know? Okay. So it feels like that's still going. We still see it, and we can still actively like hand it over to groups that need it so it feels like we're all functioning for each other right okay yeah i'm, I'm just saying in that case then it, will, it won't feel like somebody like ott who doesn't really understand the operation because he's new to it he won't suddenly feel like oh my god i need to fix everything because there was one thing that he didn't mention to me and it was the fact that the pushers seem demotivated or some shit whereas when i'm up there they always seem happy right oh they're happy Exactly. So I did demotivated. I, I don't know. Like, is it true or what's, how are they feeling? Uh, you know what it could be? It could be the fact that um, a lot of them was holding on to like maybe 200,000 rolls and we couldn't keep up with rolls in demand because of how the cleaner was before. So they maybe were feeling a bit demotivated because they had money that they couldn't do anything with really. That was one okay, thing. Okay. And I think another thing, there's a lot of, it's kind of like, I think with your crew as well, you know, there's some people are kind of like carrying a lot of load on their shoulders, if that makes sense. You know, like we are currently four or five people who daily are up and pushing 500 to 1000 baggies. Then we have people coming in and out. It's kind of like, I, I guess with you as well, it's the same people who do, you know, the money runs every day. So, yeah. uh, but but they're fine they're making money they spend all their money on buying new cars so they are willing to like push more you know but i feel like i need to get some new blood into it, the pharmaceuticals know. who mainly focus on pushing mm. weed so we get some new faces and have more you know more more legs to stand on here's the here's the funny thing right ray i feel like in this case then then sly's operation should just be an in-house thing completely like, fuck trying to get customers outside because we can't even handle our own load. So, it's like, I think that's shit. I don't. Um, I mean, I think there's a there's a way. Who the fuck's on a bike around this? You guys hear that? Sure. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, I think uh, someone's running a bicycle around this in circles. One more thing, uh, just a quick little thing. I think what you should say, Benji, in this case. Is that Sly's operation should prioritize, but when we are offloaded to everything, you know, when, once we. Did you guys find a guy on the bike? 
No, I keep no. hearing him randomly, no. but we've run around everywhere. Yeah, we've there's run somebody around run here. It is definitely possible, but we need a uh, large injection. A like, large yeah. one. Because it's not, you, you know what it is like, right? It's not necessary with, with the, with the, with how cleaning money functions, you can play your part as a company arm by just cleaning our money because it's very, it's a very weird situation. You know what I mean? Your role would pretty much be to be able to pay people in your operation just enough so that they're always happy to do the work and always have a cleaning system that's nonstop, right? Right. So that's our bonus. Our bonus from you is the fact that, hey, if if the company would like to lose less money, you you need to contribute some cash so that we can buy or pay off washing machines and give you better cuts, right? Right. So if if things stand the way they are, I think that's no problem. Then you just uh, you know we just have to adjust and say to, uh, to us, say to ourselves like, okay, uh, Benji, Born, Ray. We need to take 25% cut from everything this week until we hit extra 500,000, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, from then on, we can give you a lower cut for completely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But well, you do understand because... that the reason why it is right now the way it is. It's mm -hmm. because, like, for example, when the whole thing kicked off and OTT was like, I right, ramp up production. It's not like we went to you guys for money. Like, I went broke. I used all my money. Some of my boys, they all just put all their money towards it. So, you know, we're trying to get that back too. Like if it's company's yeah. money, then obviously we would, you know, be lenient on that part. But if it's we're out here we using our it, own money, yeah. Like if these I mean, washing I mean, machines become quote I mean, unquote the, companies washing machines, then obviously this is no, easy I, for I guess us you. To I do, mean, you know? the, the best buy, the best possible case scenario is that we buy out all the washing machines and you got your boys get their money back. So you guys have spending money. The problem is, I don't know what it is. I don't know how we only are sitting at two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I, I it sounds like a lot of money, but genuinely speaking, maybe what we do is we take uh, some. How much do you think all those washing machines cost, Slay? Uh, I can run a calculation. Can you run a calculation? Yeah. Give Aren't they like twenty five hundred each? Uh, that's before tax. Somewhere. Yeah. I can run a calculation. It's fine. So run a calculation for me, and if you can. You want to run it now, or do you want to run it when you get home? What do you mean you don't understand how the home. money is that, bro? We, it's not that much money from the heist. All the money in the fucking box is from heisting, bro. That's what. I mean, keep in mind, seven, you guys would hit like a laundry yeah. mat, get like twenty k, twenty k. Exactly. It's, it's not like, really say, that much. Let's say we got eight, eight, eight cash exchanges for forty k each. That's only three hundred twenty k, bro. Yeah, I suppose the, the, the thing I'm I'm trying to say though is like if we're taking ten to is it ten percent or fifteen percent? I think it's ten, right? Ten percent of every single operation, and we're also taking five to ten thousand dollars per week from every single person. I mean, I we should eventually be reaching like bigger numbers. We should, but that's because the, each board member has costs that we don't we're not aware of sometimes. Like, what what happened with all the event stuff with Mickey? I don't know what OTT pays for. For example, power bills and uh, f fucking um, solar panels and shit, man. If only we had a CFO, you know, like, uh, then it would be clearer. Well, the problem with... The, I'll even say this, Benji, without the jokes that you just made, right? Like, the problem is it's difficult for me to track the money in the box if I wake up one day and it goes from $300,000 to two hundred fifty, and people are like, yeah, we have to buy stuff. Like, the board members all have their hands in it, so I can't necessarily keep track of when a board member takes shit out of it unless they literally write down, yo, I took 50k from this, uh, and they update the document, you know what I mean? So, uh, maybe I bring that up in the next meeting? Maybe we, we yeah. legitimately just do that? We need, like, a in and out, pretty much, bro. Like, it's easier if like we had, like, one one financial person like a that handles all the money. But no, we have, a, we have a spreadsheet, but the problem is not everyone updates it. Yeah, but then you need to find a loophole who's not updating and question that. Anyway, uh, that's just a different topic for a board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a board meeting, um, you know. One more thing I, I I would request if that's a possibility is uh, a PMs, you know, with different departments have like a PM meeting. That will be a good thing as well. So we can clear the air, see what everybody's doing and see if everybody's good here and if they need anything from the other departments, you know. That could be a good thing to avoid stuff for the future you know and keep the communication running 
okay so now let, let, let's let's have a preview here okay so sly let's say i just did the cash exchange and i got a 40k okay 40k banded cash and i give it to you what what is your process there what's the percentage Mario and, Ray and where does the money go of course it got messed up. <laughs> the process would be we take it and if we have the money on hand we pay you out for it instantly okay it would be you're losing 20 percent so 40k i'll get uh 32k back yeah yeah whatever 20 percent right? is yes yeah that's eight thousand so with the eight thousand dollars with the 20 percent that you just took from us right what do you do with that in cleaning company in cleaning division well we is use that... that to buy more shit. no 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 what do you do with it like exactly be explicit with me right now like eight thousand how much goes to the people that are working how much what what, what, what happens to which thing oh, oh okay so right now nobody is really being paid out in terms of profits right now anyway okay. we all went into this with the idea that eventually over time it's gonna pick up and then we'll be able to cake from it but for right now everybody's decided like you know all the money is staying in that one stash and we're using that money to keep trying to keep up with like all the pharmaceuticals and everybody else right because as soon as we start paying ourselves out we're gonna need to go back into personal money just to keep up with like for example nathan or zulu who coming in here with like 100k 200k Okay. Cause I've had times where like my payout so, was over a hundred k, and I've never taken it because if I do, then we can't buy nobody shit. Okay, so you're telling me right now, let's say in that in the example that I gave you, you get eight thousand dollars, and you're just using the eight thousand dollars completely to buy new washing machines and shit. No, not new washing machines. More roads, more shit from people, so that we can make more money and keep doing it. Oh, I see. You're just rotating the cash. You're cycling yes. it. Yes, it just keeps going and going and going. And then once we got shit ton of profits, then we could decide on, okay, let's get like 20 more washing machines or let's start paying each other out. I see. And so that's why, that's where our, this is where we have that little, little fucking block here, don't we? Because we don't understand the, the math behind it. Yeah, that's, that's no good for, it's a long-term investment no, is what that is. Yeah. That's, that's good. There's no <laughs> sense. Yeah. That is good. I mean, the, I, I think that's that's where the frustration lies. You know, we have people that are assuming that we have these short-term profits, yet we're investing to a long-term, no, the solution here. So uh, I yeah. think we just need to talk to OTT probably about this. That so, is the okay. same with our thing. It's, 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 like, more so, it's more so a long-term investment on our end, at, at least as of right now, right? Because we're the ones who's like not getting paid out instantly and stuff, whereas everybody else is. So how much you, money have you cycled so far now? <laughs> Bro. Like, 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 like what's, <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, like, what's the profit at, at the moment? Like, how much is in the box? Um, Probably like no. 100K. That's it. But, but, like I say, we keep buying more. So we have most of our profits right now is in rolls again. How much? How many rolls do you guys have? Yeah, so uh, give me a much. total money. Total money without... Don't don't calculate, don't separate them. What's the total amount of money you got right now? We have probably like over three hundred k in that house right now. That still needs cleaning. So uh, that's not, not so f almost half a million. Yes. Um, I see, I see, I see, I see, and that's just basically profit for a cleaning company, but you haven't paid out each other, right? No. I see. That, see, that's the so problem like, there, How many Ray. people do you split the shit with? Like, how many people are, are in the operation? Do you know? Um, I wouldn't even say it's like everybody in the house. It's like a handful of us. Me, Kane, Fibbler, Z, Sebastian. That's pretty much it. Five? Okay. That's not bad. You see, you see, Ray? This is where the problem is. Because they haven't reached the point where they have decided... How much do I pay the people working who exactly work to get there? How much of it can go towards paying off a new house and how much do it goes to individual profit, bro? That shit hasn't been determined at all. I mean, the, that's the, why they the, will never seem like, like, like the biggest issue here is that the fact that like four of the people he just mentioned are not in the company and that exactly it's not a, company, it's not a completely company owned mm -hmm, business. Mm -hmm. So it's leading to issues right now. Exactly. So what we need to do is we need to buy out all the washing machines, get them their money back immediately as soon as we can, even if it puts us in like the negative or towards zero, 
and have them continue yeah. to clean the, the money because in the long term it'll be better for us and them the problem bro the problem here is they can't we can't we can buy it little by little you have to buy the operation completely one that's, go that's, that's what i'm saying like i mean the, the smart Fuck, thing right man. now is him going immediately going counting how many washing machines we do the math we buy all the washing machines with the 250k we just cleaned and now we have cage's new home we can use that as an operation for extending the business for the company and boom we solved two birds one stone the company now owns a washing system and the uh, the boys that worked for all the washing machine you know the prices of all that shit, get their money back mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, but KJ, you need to be specific with the numbers, though, because we need to know who needs to get paid from that section, okay? No, no, no. I have everything written down. So, like, I can show you the spreadsheet and even the money we generated in through the company, what is company money of that and what we have used that for as well, what is going through. I have a quick question, by the way. It's not to interrupt you, KJ, but Sly, would all your boys be okay if the company bought all the washing machines from you guys? They wouldn't care. They wouldn't care? Okay, but, but they still want to help the company in some regard because they've been doing this the entire time, no? I, yeah, yeah, they okay. do want should, to help should, the company. We should figure something out then, Benji, because they're going to be left after we buy all the washing machines. It's going to be kind of like a thing where... No, no, you know what needs to happen here, right? So the next goal is correct. You have to. We have to buy out all the washing machines, okay? Once every washing machine is company-owned, it then turns into you set the percentage that you want to charge to pay out the people working okay and that has to change to company people and then a percentage of eh, when the company like let's say if i hand you cash right sly it's heist mm -hmm. money that doesn't get charged at all no no eventually but, well, no no, no i'm telling out, you right now benji that's, that's eventually true. that needs to not but we're overlapping one thing what do we do with the Which boys is? that once they once we buy all the washing machines from them what the do we boys do with who are the boys? not company uh, honestly, guys, uh, Benji, what we need to talk too. about, we should just tank them on. We should hire them for the company. No, motherfucker. Why would you take on people just because they did something, but they're not interested in it, bro? The, the people that are interested, like Sly just said. I mean, that's fine and, uh, fine and dandy if it actually works out. I'm just saying, like, if they if they have no interest in it, I'm not going to pull in somebody to the to the, to the the corporation. No, obviously, they need to have interest it. in it. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying that they would... They would continue in the if they have interest they would continue in the cleaning operation under the guise of the company as company members and it would make things a lot easier because we could trust them with information we could trust them with the operation we can trust them with everything you know what i mean and, and, let's and just do this let's just offer them all asset position and their buy-in is just giving us the washing machine <laughs> No issue, Jesus nothing. Christ. Give us the washing machine, you in the company, bitch. Benji. I think that's genius. Benji. I think that's actual genius. <laughs> uh, You're so fucking... You're funny. Bro, Jaden was telling me that he wanted to buy into the company. He'd give me all the racks, bro. How many? The fuck? <laughs> you see? That's what I'm saying. I'm just... I that's what I'm wondering. Even though it's wondering. a good idea, even though it's wondering. a good idea, my boys are a bit too smart for that. Fuck. God damn. Like, they're, they're already basically bit? working with the company. They have been for so long now. Like, it's no, nothing's going to change. Okay. I, mean, I, kinda, so I, 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 I like this, though. Fine, so bro. far, we, we came up with solutions. We've caged three things. We've caged home. We can move that towards the money clean business. Number two, Sly counts up how many washing machines we have. We do the precise calculations on all the, the money that we owe them. We buy all the washing machines at once with the money that we have. Correct. And then we, in the number three, we figure out what we do with the entire cleaning operation under Slice Boys, and we figure out individually who wants to actually join the company, and we go from there. That's it. Okay. Am I crazy to think this, Sly? Okay. Can, uh, just bear with me, okay? Just I'm talking right. about the ultimate result, okay? Once mm. everything is under the company, when, when we do a heist, company does not get taxed when you clean the money. It's full... I give you Benji. one million, you give me one million back. Hold on, I hold think on, right? Just, we talk about just, this after, though, no? No, 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 no. I want him to see because he can say yes or no now so that we know the ultimate dream, right? So one million dollars I give to you, that doesn't get touched, okay? However, if let's say I am a pusher and I want to clean money, I would like to use your services. Outside charges me 20%. But with the company, I can get 15%. So I go to you, okay? 
Then from that 15%, 10% should go to the people that work to clean it. Then 5% company cut. Does that make sense? Or am I asking too much? 100% going to the company might be too much. For the so so you think even for the company highest money that's too much, but it can be lower percentage. It can be a small percent, but a hundred percent. I don't I don't see it being viable. Okay, I mean that's especially good. So the way things are set. right now with the with the cops and robberies and shit. Okay, that's fine. Ten percent. But I mean, look, if the company owns all washing machines, yeah, and all we have to do is run it. We definitely need to sit down and see how everybody feels about this because and at the end of the day like you got to remember people need to be motivated to want to go out there and clean all this quote unquote company money right and Correct. if they're going to go out there and fucking get arrested and shit trying to clean it and not make any money from it you got to you got to see it from their perspective too okay all right so then at least you understand what the ultimate goal is right i think it's not about you not on the I'm sure you did previously. No, nah, I get it. And I mean, yeah. look, me personally, I would do it every now and then for free. But, you, you know, it's not only me. Like, me alone, yeah, that's going to take exactly. forever. Like, it's a lot you of could different be bored. people. Six of you could be bored one day and you just want to clean a million for fun and you just do it for free, right? Exactly. Like, it could okay. all depends on, like, okay, the company needs some shit. This is our contribution. We don't need no cut from it. We'll just clean it. And it goes towards that. But obviously, some people are going to feel some kind of way. So, okay. got to keep that in mind. So okay, then then now we know how to move on for for uh, money cleaning up, right? What KJ? So the so this whole payments to buy everything for the company, right? Is yep. the house and everything paid for or no? No. So that's not completely company, but the racks are company, right? Um, yeah, all the racks, all the like everything that is inside the house belongs to the company. Every rack, everything we dry on, everything we grow on, everything like that is owned by the company. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. Yeah. So eventually, we and will have reach that ultimate level of owning both the building and uh, the gadgets, right? Yeah. So that is, that was my main goal from the get-go, to make sure that everything was pharmaceutical, aka the company, owned. Okay. So right now, we so own 40 racks, like big ones. Uh, the small ones i haven't paid for those so we have 40 big ones so we can drive five bricks on those you know so five times 40 right now then I, then I, ray are you there did he just say he's gonna be he said i can put it like this five of those racks with the blueprint and 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 the wood we need for that cost you roughly 25k okay then this is what we do like kj like uh, we'll confirm this with ray later when he comes back okay yeah so the ultimate goal right now is we make sure that company always gets a cut even while you're paying people for the stuff. Paying back? Okay, okay. Okay. Then your your goal as a project member of the company, not just of pharma, mm -hmm. is to bail all those washing machines out. Right. Okay, that's your goal. Our goal as a team is to pay out everything that Sly has paid for the washing machines. And then after that, it is to pay you and people that own each house. So you will be the last person that we pay. And that's where all the, you know, every chunk of money from heist money, from cleaning money, any any profit that we we, we get in return yep. is to go to clean you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that, does that make sense? I think yep. that makes sense. So you want to split yep. the, the $6 into like three and three then. So I, I, I keep the half yeah. to pay people out and I take the other half to give to you guys. Correct. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Right. Do you want that right. on a so weekly basis or? Yeah, weekly, daily, whatever is fine. I think make it weekly so it looks like a little bit chunky. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It looked like a little bit yeah. chunk. So then in, in the end, at the end, like for example, we have heist money of 250K. If it was only 250k for the washing machines, we'd just give all that right now. You, you get what I'm saying? I think that's like genius. Yeah. 